In this video, we are going to go through different ways to go up and down slopes in a wheelchair. When it comes to wheelchair skills, you have to find what works best for you. And that includes going up and down slopes. There's different ways to do it and you have to find what way works best for you. We're going to go through a few of them so you can help figure out what way works best for you. Going down slopes is easier, easiest for most. So we're gonna start with that. So when you come to the top of the slope, you want to take your brakes off, make sure your brakes are off, and push your torso back, and you loosen your grip and let the wheels roll. But hold on so you have enough control to move to the side if you need to dodge something, or if you need to suddenly stop. If you suddenly stop, there is a risk you might fall forward. So to stop safely, what you should do is hold tightly on one side of the wheel, you will turn to the side, so then you can sit here and evaluate what to do next. And if you want to, continue going down. It is also very important as you go down that you keep holding yourself back because if you come forward and put your weight at the front of the chair, the wheelchair could potentially roll forward. And once you reach the bottom, you can stop and put your brakes on. Now, there's another way you can go down. I'm not a fan of this way, but it's a way that helps if you have a weaker trunk. And yeah, so let's go to the top and I'll show you. So if you have a tendency to fall forwards when you're going downhill, there is an option to go backwards. I'm not a big fan of this way, but it might help some people. Which is very important that you lean forward when you're going backwards. So lean forward like this. Make sure you are leaning uphill to reduce the likelihood of tipping over backwards. And because you're going backwards, please, please do frequent checks. This is very important because if you have to suddenly stop, there is a risk to tip backwards. So always look where you're going. Another way of getting down, and this is my favorite way, it's my preferred way of getting down, going down slopes and hills and stuff, is the wheelie. And what you need to do for the wheelie is you need your anti-tip bars off. And on a steeper slope, the wheelie makes it even easier because it keeps your body and torso leaning backwards so you're not any risk of falling forward, which I do a video on how to do a wheelie and how to practice the wheelie, which I'll put a link in the description of this video. So this is my favorite way to get down slopes is to get into the wheelie. And it's e uh, easiest for me because my body is leaning backwards, so I'm not risk of falling forward. And yeah, I just get into the wheelie and then glide down the slope. Remember the wheelie will feel slightly different from doing it on flat ground. So if it's your first time, get your friend to help spot you, which I explain how to do in my how to do a wheelie video. Once I reach the bottom, I can come down from my wheelie. Now let's go through going up the slopes. If you're at the beginning of the slope, you need to make sure you lean forward because if your weight is at the back of the chair, then it might tip the wheelchair backwards. It also helps if you have a little bit of speed before you go up. So roll up to it, lean forward, and push on the front part of the wheel rims as that is a more powerful position and easier to make more forceful pushes help you get to the top. To go up faster, try not to stop pushing and keep constant contact with your wheel rims. Now, if the slope is a bit steep and you're struggling, 
there is a way to make it easier going up. You just have to zigzag. And so let's try that. So to wheel in the zigzag way, wheel up in a diagonal way, stop, turn your chair, and wheel up again on the angle. Stop and turn all the way to the top. Something to remember is to be careful if you have heavy bags or anything heavy hanging off the back of your chair. Because when you're going up the slope, if you have something heavy on the back of your chair, you'll be more likely to tip backwards. So you'll just have to really focus on leaning forward more and having the weight in the front of the chair when you're going up the slope. So going up or down ramps that are shorter length, please remember they are a little bit harder. When you are going up them, you'll need a little extra push and when you are going down, just be a little extra careful. All right, let's head back inside. Now that you've watched this video, you should call up your friend and try some of these ways of going up and down slopes. It's always good to have a friend there to help you when you're first trying new skills. <laughs> and if you haven't seen the wheelie video, you can check it out here <laughs> and remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.